in the raw. RK is guy in the free media. Your friend, your brother, me. Haji, Dr. Ocean, can in the raw. Friends and families, um, I'm about to zoom in on a court matter. Uh, today is uh, uh, Wednesday, um, Wednesday, July 31st, and I have the newspaper of uh, Tuesday, July 30th, page 17 of the Guyana Times. And I wanted to share something with you. You know, um, AFC wants 2 a.m. curfew reinstated. The Alliance for Change, and then I see, look at his face, man, on a constant basis, you know. I don't know why they're putting him there. They're doing him and his family such a disservice. Now here is the power man of the AFC and the former Ramjatan leader and founder, but they keep on, he was not elected as a chairman, maybe he they got him as an executive, he was not elected as a as a deputy leader or organizing secretary or anything. He, he Ramjatan was not, but they put him there. And he knows. Now look at his face. Look at that depression. Look at the personality of that man, but look at Nigel, ha Nigel Hughes. Who is the boss now of, of Ramjatan? But there is Ramjatan looking depressed. And I don't know why he do these things. Maybe, you know, I'm not going to say he is, but um, some people are masochists. They like pain. They do things and accept positions that will give them pain and trauma in their minds and their soul. I'm just saying this is a general commentary. The man looks very depressed. Now, and the, under the photograph, the caption, AFC's current and former leaders, Nigel Hughes and Kamaraj Ram Jatan. The Alliance for Change, AFC, wants the 2 a.m. curfew that was imposed under the former APNO AFC government to be reinstated. I wonder why, what is going on. I wonder, I, can't, I don't even know what this current government do. As a matter of fact, I think the curfew should be should be 12 midday, midday. Too much of noise, too much of alcohol, too much of people dying. But I think there's a, there's a conflict between the PPPC government and them who had it at 2 a.m. instead of 4 a.m. or whatever time you want to. Let me go on reading and then I'll make the necessary comment. The call was made by, by AFC past a leader and former Minister of Public Security, Kemal Trumpistan, during a press conference on Friday. The AFC advises that the 2 a.m. curfew, which was placed under the coalition government, be reinstated. It would have avoided so many deaths on our roads. I think they're coming to that. Maybe, too, maybe they're going too late. The 2 a.m. curfew was often relaxed during the holiday periods when there would be higher than usual alcohol consumption among persons. And look who is talking about alcohol, if we know anything about that, alcohol consumption against political personalities. Anyhow, thereby defeating the intended purpose of the curfew, that curb road fatalities, especially those caused by drunk driving. Now, I have a, a solution to the police. In these areas, you set unmarked cars, and when the patrons are coming out and they're going to drive, you trap them. One siren suddenly, stop all the cars, have a team of police, uh, commissioner of police, child traffic chief, Mahendra Singh, have all the cars stop, and you breathalyze all of them, and straight to the police station. Of course, oh, I think, I think that law has also changed, because I, I was upset with them. Um, Former President Mara Jagdeo, when he accented the $7,000 fine for driving under the influence of alcohol. People under the influence of alcohol, technically, driving are preparing for mass murder. This is how I put it. Alcoholic drivers are suicide murderers of themselves and their families and their friends and could mass murder on the road itself. Let me go on. So I give you an advice there, uh, Commissioner of Police and uh, the Attorney General, that this is the technique to trap drunk people in the late at nights, see that they're coming out, put on a massive roadblock with sirens, arrest all of them, breathalyzer, and um, have somebody from the, um, 
um, the responsible department, the professional response, ensure that uh, no cheese is being passed. Ensure that there is no cheese passing. All right? Moreover, the curfew was widely criticized as being anti-business. Of course, the rum, the rum sellers don't care, even though there is a law, you're not supposed to be selling rum that could injure people, and you could get sued, the rum sellers, the bars and those places could be sued. But nobody kind of suing, because it's again selling alcohol to people when they are already inebriated and could kill people on the road, so they, they're the bar owners supposed to be charged as well. So they were being criticized as being anti-business. Meanwhile, statistics released by the police force revealed that from January 1st to July 23rd, 2024, a total of 55 road fatalities were recorded. This is the comparison to 72 during the, cons the corresponding period last year. Correspondingly, accordingly then, or in opposite thought or, 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 or knowledge, the number of deaths resulting from those accidents also dropped from 82 in 2023 to 66 this year. The government has always enacted modern laws aimed at instituting stiffer penalties for driving under the influence of, as well as the sale of alcohol to drivers. However, enforcing laws against drunk driving continue to be a major challenge to the police because you have a lawyer killed somebody. No, no, the lawyer defended someone, a top lawyer um, in, in top politics now, defended someone and showing wrong charge or something of that sort. And that former top officer in the police or the military or something there gone scot-free, but a, a, a champion of Guyana who might have won an Olymp Olympic medal died and his family suffered, but he gone scot-free. The government has uh, the government has already enacted modern laws aimed at instituting stiffer penalties for driving under the influence of alcohol as well as sale to of alcohol to drivers. So now, what should happen when somebody want to drive to, to drink? They got to produce something to say they are not a driver. So, police, traffic chief, commissioner, attorney general, vice president, your cabinet set a system to entrap all of them, enhance and enrich the, 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 the finance of the coffers of the police force or the government of Guyana, and teach these people a lesson, even regardless of their political affiliation, many of them were they're big boys. Business affiliation, that's why you gotta make sure you have um, the anti-corruption bureau. Uh, in this case maybe we don't have one of that, but we need one of that. Uh, government of Guyana, President Dr. Irfan Ali. And um, and the and the Office of Professional Responsibility to make sure that no cheese is passing. I repeat for emphasis, I know and understand this cheese passing. Friends and family I'm a friend of the police. But I know the reality. If my family does something wrong and the police is like my family, I will point my finger to them and tell them, you all work on this issue. The organization had reported recording 41,358 driving under the influence of alcohol from January 1st to April 22. Of those 449 cases were taken to court, resulting in 153 convictions. Why? Smart lawyers and so on. They could prove that the instrument is not good, the person was not trained to handle it. These kinds of nonsenses, certain smart, alike lawyers who don't care, to my opinion, about life and property, but the bottom line, the fees. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Roshan, Canada. Say thank you, farewell, friends. You see?